family kicks as accountant general Idris secretly marries a 16-year-old girl as fourth wife. <laughs> oh, God. You see, when you have a mango tree, yes, and you go there and pluck the very green one, do you know even to your own health it's detrimental? Why not give it a few more days, perhaps a week or two, it will become ripened. And you don't have to, you know, in ingest so much acidity that may become dangerous for your health. That you may have to take some drugs or medications to get rid of the acidity that you with your own hands have put in your system. It's sad, but these things are happening. This very dress now, marrying a 16-year-old girl, may have a 20-year-old in Canada, California, America, UK, studying to become a lawyer, a doctor, whatever. Wickedness at the peak. They pry on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the poverty level of the common man and woman on the street. These are people, look at him. These are people with no form of integrity whatsoever. A 16-year-old girl that should be in school, still learning the basis, not yet a fully grown, mature adult according to biology. Not yet 18. Nigeria, where do we go from here? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Family kicks as accountant general, Idris secretly marries a 16-year-old girl as fourth wife. Her son's family has kicked against the wedding, but Idris insists on marrying her, despite the 40 years gap between the two. The family member of a 16-year-old girl in Kanu identifies simply as her son has kicked against her marriage to the accountant general of the federation, Hamed Idris. The family accused Idris of luring the teenager with millions of naira. Accountant general of the federation, Ahmed Idris, has told the girl he will marry her, who has told her parents she must marry him. The federation, Idris, has been reported by Sahar reporters, who gathered that the accountant general tried, tied the knock not with a young girl in a secret wedding ceremony held in Kano. A source told to our reporters that Hassana's family had kicked against the wedding, but Idris insisted on marrying her despite the over 40 years gap between the jail. Idris will turn 61 on November the 25th, 2021. This is our latest, this is our, this is our last little sister her name is asana she just turned 16 not long ago she clocked 16 but it's very unfortunate that a lady called amin was the one that linked and brought the accountant general to our house in order to seek her hand in marriage this she did knowing that this very little girl knows nothing what does that mean it shows the accountant general is just after small girls to take advantage of their youthful age and spend time with them. Immediately I got the message. I messaged him because when I was working with the, with the then head of services, I had the opportunity of having his contact when we met over a serious matter about the country. So I messaged him on WhatsApp regarding his wedding. I sent him my picture that than that of my son, my, my late sister, and the daughter, Hassana. He replied that it's a small word, which confirmed the wedding was true. A top family source conf confiled in Sana reporters. The family source added that the accountant general had bribed the little girl and even the media organization by, con by contacting them for help and requesting that this is not exposed and nobody knows of it. It went as far as bribing this little girl with gold of over 200 million, iPhones, buying her cars, giving her millions of naira, buying her all kinds of things. He started meeting 
different people that he wanted to know the little girl's family and marry her. Just like that, there was no investigation just because he's an accountant general of the Federation. Why are these things happening in this country? He even told the little girl to go and look for any house of her choice in Abuja that he was ready to purchase it for her. She's only 16. He's spending the government's money and every, and every media house would not report it because he has paid them off. This is what is going on right now. But he can't pay off Sahar reporters. The girl just turned 16, like I earlier said, and she's been shown millions of naira, brilliance that belongs to Nigeria. So my people, now waiting to happen with this. It's strange to you because uh, you, it's not strange, oh. Uh, hmm. she, she's even 16. We thank God she has clock 16. You don't know the difference, what is happening. Hmm. You don't know what is happening. It's God that is saving us in this country. I can assure you. It's God that is saving us in this country. There's a lot going on. I can tell you. There's a lot happening. And Nigerians, we all need to get on it. We must speak against this evil and this abuse on little girls and children carried out by politicians who continue to deceive them, you know, in the name of religion and whatever they have again, you know, with and again with the children and however they come into it to let them know or tell them that they can do this, they can. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. The things that go on in this country, you know, it's terrible. I can begin to, you know, name some of the things that have gone on recently. I heard of a girl as young as 12. What does a 12 years old, not even a teenager knows? as young as 12, married to a grown man of 46, as young as 12, as young as 12. So when you see everything that is going on, you understand that it is a call for a national. And guess what? Nothing will change in that regard because you see that thing called religion in this country, that thing called religion. It's a gray area. You speak into that area, they will come after you like hyenas. So when you look at it, it's very, it's very unfortunate. I think education and enlightenment will go a long way. Because when parents know what is involved in their children getting married early, where they are, it's like they are, they are completely sold into slavery, they have no choice. You know, by the time parents understand these things that are happening, they will be able to, you know, guide their children and not allow them to be what? Taken away in, in the captivity of ignorance. You know, I mean, these are some of the things going on. Not everything in this country is reported by the media, or by the way. So don't think that everything is um, hook, like, and sinker. It's just what it is. No, not everything is reported. You know, not everything. It's a shame. But when you go to the north, you see some of these things happening. And you, 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 you're caught to your conscience and you're wounded because you expected more from those who call themselves government officials to do better. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.